Right, I thought I'll just do a quick video on a review um, of a machine that we use all the time here. I've never done a review before, but I, I, every time I get this machine out, I say to Sonia, I'm so pleased we've got it because to try and do any alternative method would just be a nightmare. And that is a post auger machine. You can see how many posts we've had to put in in our little vineyard. But even if you're not putting in a vineyard and you're just replacing fences or putting in pole barns or doing whatever, you'll find that you'll need to drill holes and you try and do it by hand and you only really ever want to do it once because after you've um, done that and you've got blisters all over the place you want a machine to do it for you and so what I did is I got mine off uh, eBay figure out the price I paid I can't quite remember I'll, I'll have a look it is absolutely brilliant so I'm just going to do a quick review for you had this machine for about two years now it's been really really well used we must have put in probably about two or three hundred uh, posts into the ground for fencing and uh, the vineyard that we're doing here um, it comes with three different sized augers this is the four inch one but it also comes up to, uh, with a six inch and an eight inch um, we all, nearly always just use the four inch one for the stakes that we put into the ground the augers themselves have a really simple method of fixing to the uh, drive shaft it's just a, um, a pin with a R clip uh, to hold it in place so to take these off you literally just pull the R clip pull the pin out and this just drops off the machine that I've got I got off eBay it's not uh, made by any particular company at all it's just got earth auger which is fairly uh, nondescript and the code D2520 on top it's a fairly conventional um, two-stroke engine you take a, a 50 to 1 fuel oil mix uh, for there it's got a priming pump on the carburetor there which is really useful standard spares uh, include the spark plugs which you can just get uh, if need be i've not this is just all the original spark plug but the only thing i've had to replace on it in the last two years is funny enough i did it yesterday and that was the magneto coil inside inside the housing there it's quite easy to replace you just undo a couple of allen bolts there uh, there and then one on in the inside there and this cover comes off and the magneto is just behind sitting underneath the uh, spark plug there I don't know why it went um, apparently it's not uncommon for uh, magnetos to go I had a spare so um, I just put it in and it off it went again the choke system here which is a pretty crude um, choke system but it works one thing to note the Chinese haven't quite got to grips with what a choke is I don't think um, they've labeled it here choke on and choke off this is really confusing because when you first start uh, this engine you want it in the off position now really that really means choke is on you know you, you've actually choked the air supply there um, so I'm not quite sure why it's labeled up wrongly there it's, it's very confusing it's not off and then once it's running you switch it from there onto the on position which really means the valve is open so on and off is slightly confusing there but anyway that's what that's through me because I was thinking well sure you want it on to start with and then you switch it off once it's going but it's not it's the other way around so that's one thing to note but if you're aware of that then that's not really a problem okay to start this thing make sure that the switch is on the on position we've primed the bulb at least five times just to get some fuel into the carburetor have the choke in the off position and then give it a good old yank Small roots like this one, they just rip through. In fact, they'll rip through much bigger roots than that. And the hole that it produces, if I can go a little bit inside, is a lovely straight-sided, smooth, vertical hole. And it will go as deep as you like, but the auger length is probably, oops, 
the auger length is probably about two foot, 60 centimeters, something like that. And uh, generally two foot, um, and that's plenty enough for most um, fence posts. So would I recommend getting one of these machines? Absolutely I would. It saved our hands from loads of blisters and the holes that it makes are nice and neat for your stakes and fence posts and whatever you want to put in them. So um, yeah, I don't think you'll be disappointed. Go out and buy one. Okay, that's it for this video. If you liked it, then please hit the subscribe button and you'll get updates on everything else that we do around our small holding here. And at the moment I'm posting about one video a week and you'll get a notification of when I post it.